What's up, you guys? Sean Ross at Fightful.com. Here with a couple names, you know. How about The Inspiration? Yes, that is awesome. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, full disclosure, I tried to hit up some of the people you all worked with in Australia this morning, and I was like, wait a second. They can't feed me gimmick questions because they're in bed right now. Yes. Yeah. So I was like hitting up Shaza. And Shaza. I was like, Shaza. 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 <laughs> and I was like, wait, they're in bed right yeah. now. I'm so not used to that. But you guys are here. You're in the States. I know you guys have talked about like the visa problems and all that stuff. But yes. you've landed an impact and you found some incredible success so far. Thank you. How's that been for you guys? Amazing. We've been loving impact. Yeah. Um, I mean, well, here we debuted and become the Knockouts Tag Team Champions. It's like, I don't think it gets better than that, you know? No, 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 no. Um, it's been a dream. It yeah. really has. So I saw a lot of talk about the gear, the, uh -huh. the flame gear. Yes. What was the official inspiration <laughs> behind the gear? Because I saw some people say uh, uh, maybe, maybe, gosh, what musician Harlem was it? He, oh, Britney Spears. Britney Spears, yes. Yes. Harlem Heat. Eddie what was the true inspiration? I mean, if you've been following what we've been doing, it's been this pop star vibe. Yes. So... Britney Spears was our inspiration. Okay. But what we loved that everyone took from that is that, like, with Harlem Heat, it's, like, it's tag team inspiration. Yes. And that's... Exactly. I love that. Yep. And then we got some Eddie... Yep. Uh, Especially that was on the um, anniversary... Not, that's yeah. not the good thing, but on the yeah. anniversary of his passing, which yeah. was yeah. just all tied in, you know? Yeah. So what other pop stars do you all look at? And you're like, I can take something from that. I can take something from that. G give me some scoops here. I'm all about the dirt. I want the dirt. <laughs> Britney is a hard one to bloody top. Yeah. Everything she does, I'm just like, damn. I, I literally send Cassie numerous photos in a week. So yeah. Yeah, I want to do this, I want to yeah. do this, I want to do this. But you got to shout out to, like, ex-Tina. Yes. Yeah. She's uh, a big one. Who else? Are we... Those are our big oh, two. Oh, we got to run in. Oh, we got to run in. Oh, no. Oh my god! We're supposed, <laughs> we're supposed to have good tag team wrestlers here. What are you doing here? Get the Jesus out of me! The Jesus? Hell yeah! It's all right to respond to your message. It's okay. I've been freaking busy. I mean, big stars. We got, of, we got a long ass line. Hey, I can't hardly say it. Do you want to bury somebody right now? Oh my god! Who do I want to bury? Name a person. Name 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 somebody. Let's see. Uh, Young Bucks not even as close to us. They got an EVP position and they like to keep it. And then, and I understand that. I mean, we got a little bit of buzz going about us right now, and they want to be above. It's, that's okay with me. I don't even care about that. Who else we got to talk about? The Lucha Brothers. Um, yeah, cool. Yeah, they fly around the ring and they do a lot of flips and they look pretty and they wear all this fancy gear, uh, but they ain't saving their money because they got to pay for all that gear. And I got a shit ton more money than they do. Uh, my house is over half a million dollars and it's already paid for. So, uh, I mean, I guess they're a cool little tag team that does all the cool they things, but they ain't nothing. Oh, did they? Young God dang, Tony Khan, call us. I need a new deal. Let me stop before I lose a job. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love him so much. Oh, my gosh. Listen, I, I, I did go to journalism for this. I did. I did it. Now, listen, even though you all did an interview with Denise Salcedo, I, will, I won't allow the internet to bury you. Okay. Please tell me, tell me all the issues you have with Denise Salcedo and just like in general, how, assess her job as a journalist, please. You know, I have to give a shot. You were a good, a solid eight. Yeah, a solid eight. And you know what? She has fun with it. She yeah. does. Yeah, she, she, she gets in a good mood, puts us over. I again. like her games that she does. It's not just straight wrestling yeah. oh. questions. It's, it's fun. fun. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we'll play a game. <laughs> Bury all of your coworkers. <laughs> I'm ready. That's uh, who deserves to be buried the most. Uh, buried? This is this is this is a fun game, right? I There's mean, no way this will go wrong. To be honest, Kathy and I like to stay out of the drama. Oh yes. come on. We we like to sit with our popcorn and just watch it. <laughs> listen, listen. We don't have any drama. Right? You can say something about like Kevin Dunn or Vince McMahon. <laughs> uh, not not that anybody has ever said anything. <laughs> Abort! Listen, listen, listen. Abort! Listen. <laughs> Not that anybody would ever make hey, a headline out of anything wasn't like that. If it was for Vince McMahon, we would not be sitting here right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. So I know you want to bury someone, listen, but I want to put him over. There's a lot of people that could take that a lot of ways. That you wouldn't be sitting here talking to Sean Ross Sapp at WrestleCade if it weren't for Vince McMahon. Uh, okay, I can see what. I yes. can see how you're gonna flip this. I'm yeah. gonna. That's okay. the. All right. Okay, all right. here's one. Wait. Dang what it. do you all want the headline for this article to be? Uh, the 
inspiration continue to inspire their way through professional wrestling? Oh, come on. <laughs> Featuring an appearance by one Dax Harwood. Harwood. See, see, you got to you got to go juicier than that. You got to uh, go more controversial than that. What are you that. thinking? I feel like you already know. Mm. Why do you even ask? Yeah. Well, you ask me a question, you already have the answer. Because I mean, no matter what story I break, I get a gif of you. Yeah. A gif that pops it's a up. gif. Yeah. The creator, the creator says it's a gif. Oh, the creator. The creator. <laughs> so, the creator. Like if your if your parents named you Cassie, but they spelled it like with a D or something, you're still Cassie, right? Yeah. So he, I guess giraffe is spelled with a G. There you go. <laughs> yeah, but gif reminds me of peanut butter. Yeah, which is a bad thing. Yeah. So that's not that's not a bad thing, but. You, you want to go as juicy and controversial as possible. Yeah. Hey, when you all debuted an Impact, I did the cute thing. I added the two eyes to Impact, too. Yes. I said okay. the inspiration okay. debut in Impact. <laughs> like, Impact. I made the headline out of it. You got to do it. But you got to, like, I, I want something controversial. Okay, so here's the thing, though. We ain't controversial, mate. Oh. Honestly, we're actually so boring. Like, boring. you went to journalism. Yeah, that's your job. Yeah. <laughs> And the other thing, if we were going to say something controversial, we are now bloody in Yeah! Hey. I know. <laughs> That's a thing. That's a thing. I was trying to, I was trying to get it. Trying so, to get it how have you all been liking that? Because I know it is, it is a process. A lot of times it's trial and error. But The podcast? Yeah, yeah, the podcast, doing YouTube content, doing a lot of stuff, because yeah. you guys have really Ooh. taken to it well. Sheesh. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And you don't realize how much you like in it, how yeah. much effort. And we're perfectionists, so we'd like everything to be like up to par with yeah. everything else. Yeah. But we have been having a lot of fun. The podcast is a great way for us to just talk about shit. Yeah. Yeah, have fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. I mean, you, we learn a lot more about you in that podcast, like the first few weeks that it ran, yeah. than in WWE. And maybe right. that's that's by design, but there, like a lot of people often forget that there are lives beyond what you see on sure. social media yes. and WWE. And that's what we wanted to create, the platform where we could create Cassie and Jesse yeah. and, and let people know who they are because for the last six years they only knew Billy and Pete. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that and was important to us. We put such pressure on ourselves in WWE to like be this perfect, you know, superstar. Sure. And that's just not real. So yeah, we have the opportunity now to actually be so was this an idea you all had kicked around before you all left WWE, no. or so it was? It was oh, like, like the podcast. Yeah, yeah. The podcast. Yes, yeah. absolutely. No, specifically talking to me. Had you all said Sean Ross Sapp? I we gotta you, talk to him. I thought you meant the inspiration uh, idea. I was like, no. <laughs> no, the podcast we pitched and got a big fat no. And yeah. Oh, really? And then yeah, after we got but it was, we always had it in our back pocket yeah. because. One day, you know, and it was, was always like, going to be life after it WWE. Days after the release, or was it one day? After? I want to say it was pretty damn quick. Day. It seemed quick. So like, it was the day after, because Jess was like, "I want some time." You know, we're going to move forward together, but I need some time to get through this. And I said, "Yep, I respect that." And I couldn't fucking wait. Yeah. Oh, I swore. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'm sorry. Can, do it. Let it fly. Like, That's the headline. <laughs> That's the headline. We got it. <laughs> I swear. We got it. <laughs> Oh, man. So you all end up in Impact. What was that period like for you all? Because I know that you all you all spoke openly about visas and that process, but the process of speaking with Impact and deciding this is where we're going to go, it seems like the tag team division had to be a big point of attraction for you guys. I mean, it really did, because we wanted to stay together as a tag team. We were mm-hmm. so passionate. We freaking love tag team wrestling. So Impact was like the perfect fit. And the conversation just went on for a while, but it, it was such a good feeling that we got from them. Yeah. So when we made that decision, it just it felt like the right thing for us to do. So we're loving it. After your uh, brief stint in underground fighting last year, was there any <laughs> any uh, thought of maybe going that route? Yeah. While underground lives you know, forever? You know us, grapplers, the two of us, or te- te- technical uh, <laughs> experts. Catch as catch can yep. experts. All of that. Perfectly. <laughs> So the, the impact run, it, it's going really good. You guys are, are being able to, to display more what you can do in the ring. Was that an immediate thing? Like when when what happened with WDB, you all were like, we're a package deal. We're sticking together. This is how it's going to work. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I there was no that. other option. It, it was just like, I feel like that was an 
spoken word, but we knew that. Yeah. It's like, what are we going to do golf yeah. on our own? You're right. No, I don't want to be a singles competitor. I don't think of anything worse that I want to do with my time. <laughs> So, I mean, the, the landscape of wrestling is so much different now than before you all came into WWE. Yes. Were, like, was there anybody that you all specifically talked to and you were like, maybe how do I navigate this now? Or were you guys familiar enough with it from before that... No, not at all. Yeah. I mean, this is all brand new to us, uh, being outside of WWE. We've been with them for about six years. Yeah. And ever since we moved to America. Um, so our manager really helped us. Uh, lovely Steve Page. Uh, Oh, that guy. That guy. Who'd he ever beat? <laughs> no one. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you what he doesn't do. He doesn't get drinks and hotel rooms comp for Matt Cardona Whoa. at a hotel. That's how I know him. Hell yeah. That's how I know him. You lost the juicy stuff now. <laughs> I know. You lost some guys. Sorry, Steve. Thanks for setting up this interview. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, Steve. <laughs> but he really helped us navigate through, and, and people that we reached out to were just our closest friends with WWE. Yeah. Um, like, gosh, we spoke to Becky a lot, um, Natty, uh, Liv, they all reached, like, some good people really kind of uh, just let us know that they supported us and that they were still there for us, which is nice. Was there anything about this landscape that, like, surprised you? Like, right now, we're in North Carolina, and right. I'd never been to North Carolina before I came to these, okay. and it's it's loaded. It's yes. packed here. Yeah. No, There's no WrestleMania this weekend. There's no AEW. Right. There's no big Impact show. Yeah. It's just people all came here yeah. to meet and watch you guys yeah. and sign stuff. Like, was that a surprise to you at all? I mean, yes, because we just don't know this world, you sure. know? Like, we never even... Like, when we were in Australia, we would come over here and try and get experience and work for, you know, the independent companies over here, but never... I don't know, did you ever do conventions like oh, this? No. no. That's the thing. We've never done conventions before. Yeah. Wow. What the hell are we No. Into? It's, I, I walk oh. in, and I'm so overwhelmed every yeah. time. I, like, want to cry. <laughs> Last few questions. Who were the references on your resume? <laughs> so I never even got to choose any. Of oh them. man! Oh wait, so who was on it? Yeah, I want to um, know. I actually don't. I have a picture of it. Who would it. be a reference? Yeah. Well, me obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Like no, no. <laughs> yeah, of course. But you got to have three. That's always the rule, right? Okay, Cassie Lee, The Rock. Okay. <laughs> and, um, I'd say. Uh, my mom. Yeah. Your mom. Perfect. Yeah. That's a, personal a good one. reference. Yeah. But a lot of times they say it can't be immediate family. They do. Yeah. And to that I say piss off. Okay. I agree with that. I also like to do a segment called Shooting Softly. Okay. So a lot of times if you're on YouTube, you'll see those those clips where people are like, this person shoots hard and buries this person. Okay. Well, I wanna, you're barking up the wrong tree here. I know. I want you all to say nice things. Ah. Ah. Oh, don't judge a book by its cover. How about that? How about that one? So we'll start with a person I mentioned earlier. Shaza. 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 Mackenzie. We, we love her. We go way, 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 way back. Um, back to like early when we were starting training. So she's an incredible person. She's always been in our lives. She's always supported us. She always reaches out when stuff happens in our lives. She's a great friend to have. Um, and, yeah, we miss her. One of my favorite memories with her in here, I'll give you a headline right now. Uh, one of my favorite memories of her, we were driving to a PWA show together. And it was just the two of us, and there was a sign on the car in front of us, and it said, Honk if you're horny. And we laugh at that still. <laughs> so there you go, Honk if you're horny is your headline. <laughs> so when you said, we have known her, I thought you were about to say, we have no good things to say about her. <laughs> we have no good things to say about her. Sweetheart. You mentioned uh, Natalia earlier. How about her? I mean, she, oh my gosh. Having her in the locker room, she's the funniest person. Like, really? She, she's got no filter. No filter. Oh, that's Every great. Week, she would just come in and I would just sit and watch her and she would just make me laugh. to Chelsea Green last year after she broke her wrist and yeah. she credited Tamina an awful lot for like saving her. She's like I would have shattered my wrist if not oh, for Tamina. Yeah. Yeah. How, how's she? Like say something nice about old Tamina. Oh we love Tamina. She's like the locker room mom. Yeah. That's, what, Every, that's what I heard. Yeah everyone loves Tamina because she's just so welcoming. She brings everyone in with open arms yeah. and she just wants she wants everyone to succeed and she will put everyone before her. That's why all the girls root so hard for her. For her to like once put herself first. Yeah. So we 
she's amazing. We love her. Agreed. How about Gail Kim? She is my mortal enemy. Oh. Uh, she's my mortal enemy. Uh, I think she's we're, we're going yeah. we're gonna to fight later. How? Fight? What money is I don't know. She's, listen, listen, a little too old. Oh. She's a little too long in the tooth. Oh. Oh. You cannot she say that. She got to back Gail Kim. She's got, she's got to put over the much, much younger talent here. I'm wow. sorry. Listen, so, wow. so, but I'm counteracting it by asking you all to say something nice about her. Listen. Okay, well, like, when, when Kat and I went to Impact, obviously she's a huge uh, person in the company. Yeah. Behind the scenes and in front and being able to work with her, honestly, dream come true, because we grew up watching her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's incredible, and she's a genuinely, like, nice person, unlike you. Uh. She has her finger on the pulse of everything. She like does. You really don't. there's there's a women's show tomorrow. There's tons of talent here to scout. Did she like have a part in bringing you all in? Do you all did you all talk to her beforehand? She uh <laughs> she slid in the DMs. Yes. Okay. <laughs> the DMs. But I like just said I I yeah. love Gail. Grew up loving her, so I, it was like yeah, man, I want to work with Gail Kim. Yeah. Yes. She's okay. <laughs> She's all right. She's all right. Uh, please tell the people where they can follow you on social media, where they can support you, all yes. that great stuff. Yeah. Absolutely. So at Cassie Lee, at Jesse McKay, and we have an exclusive website uh, content uh, brand army. That's CassieLeeWorld.com and JesseMcKayWorld.com. Yeah. And then the old podcast is at Off Her Chops on Instagram, Twitter, and the old YouTube channel. It is great stuff. Love off, off their chop, or off, off her, her chop. Off Jeez. her chop. I stumbled over my word. Listen, Jeez. listen. I have been struck by you. You, you, <laughs> you physically assaulted me. Oh gosh. Now, <laughs> see now, now if Gail Kim beats me up later, I, I was softened up. Yeah. I, I got oh, beat up earlier. <laughs> look, look, a three-on-one assault. You guys witness it here. Cassie, Jess, thank you all so much for thank taking you. the time. Until next time, we're out.